All right, y'all. We're back. Mr. Wiggy's joining us today. I threw some pops out in the grass so he can munch on his favorite little snack. But uh, we're getting a late start today. It's noon. I got I to gotta do something to make some kind of progress today. We went to the bar last night, got home in the wee hours of the morning. <laughs> and uh, I got to do some kind of something to this boat today to keep with forward progress. So uh, I undid the throttle cables going from the throttle inside back to the motor. I mean, it wasn't even hooked to the motor, but it was inside the controller. So I unhooked it yesterday evening and uh today i'm gonna pull the throttle cables out from underneath there is one of the things i'm gonna do but we'll see what else i get into all right here we go all right you see here's the old mercury cables i uh got them unhooked from out of the control box i need to get some uh clines or something to get up under the boat and cut zip ties and stuff where it goes where it's ran under the boat so we're fixing to do that all right here we are under this boat here's the throttle cables zip tied up going from front to back so i'm gonna pull them out from there cut all these zip ties and get these cables laid out on the ground and uh, measure how long they are that way i know how long the new cables i need to order need to be um for going from that force motor to the controls and I can tell you I'm not going to be able to reuse those mercury controls I'm going to have to order a, a new set of controls alright here we go alright well that was quick and painless took about less than 5 minutes let's stretch them out on the ground see how long they are here they are Got my rollout tape measuring them. What we got down there, Mr. Wiggy? What's the measurement? 20 feet, seven and a half inches. You helping daddy? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right, 20 feet, seven and a half inches. And it's a shame these cables don't work because they're, they're nice and free. Ain't they? They're free. <laughs> yeah all right so I, I probably order cables a couple foot longer that's 20 what was it 20 foot seven inches i'll probably order 22 foot cables have a little bit of slack in it won't hurt all right so i got that done let's move on to something else i think i might tackle i think i might tackle flipping this window upside down flip the window upside down that way when i flip the door upside down then the window will then be right side up and uh the reason i got to flip the window is because it's the window's got to be a certain way for rain runoff so when you close this window all the way down from the inside oh, it's got these little latches but anyway it's got to be uh the glass on the top has to be a little bit further out than the glass on the bottom. That way when it rains down this glass, it don't get water inside the boat. The water will come down and drain off. If I had the window upside down, if rain hit it, the uh, water would go inside the boat. All right, here we go. I took the first couple screws out with a screwdriver, but there's about a million more to go. So I said, shit on that. We're going full auto. Maybe I exaggerated when I said there's a million more. There's like 10 more. All right, there's the frame. I'm just assuming you can flip this window upside down. I don't really know if you can. Let's see. Well, looks like it's kind of <laughs> held on there by caulking so we'll see I'll fiddle with this a few minutes off camera see if I can get it out all right we got her out here's all the putty it was kind of like putty strips I guess you could say 
that was around the frame and on the window frame i got a little razor i'm going to finish scraping it off but i used this little pry bar just stuck it back between the gap between the window frame and the door and just kind of did a little gentle pry did that all the way around and it popped right out so now i'm going to finish cleaning all this uh caulking putty stuff off the door but i'm not going to flip the window and uh silicone it i'm gonna use silicone around it when i put it back in but i'm not gonna do that just yet i'm gonna make sure the whole flipping the door upside down thing works like i hope it will first and uh, because who knows i might go to flip the door and for some unforeseen reason it may not be able to be that way so then i have to flip it back over and in case i got to flip it back over i don't want the window to be already caulked in there and everything so i'm gonna do that last after i um, confirm i can flip this door all right here we go all right for the most part i got all the old caulking off from around the door and uh around the frame just used a little razor blade there's a pile of stuff right there all right now i'm gonna see about popping all these uh screws out all right here we go only about a million to go I got all the screws out and I went to grab the door frame and try to pull it away and of course it wouldn't come away because it had caulking around it so then I just took my little razor blade and I put it behind there and sliced the caulking all the way around the door and check it out comes away from the door jam no problem so I still got to undo the the chain right there let me get this chain undone and then I'll flip her around. All right, we got her out. Now I'm fixing to uh, flip it upside down and see how it fits in there. All right, there it is flipped. I just got one screw holding it on one side and one screw on the other. Immediately you notice the window is further towards the bottom. But uh, that ain't no big deal. Heck, I can... If it got to bothering me, I can pick up another little square window and cut it in right here. Um, but yeah, I think I'm gonna go with it. It uh, slightly a little catch opening the door. Sure, I tweaked the frame getting it out, but maybe it'll maybe it'll straighten out once I get all the screws in. But yeah, I'm gonna go with it. I'm gonna pull those couple screws out, caulk all the seams, and mush the door back in there, and. Uh, Look, the, you can see the holes are, they're all lining back up. Um, so that's cool. I'm not drilling any, the screws aren't biting into new wood. They're going right back into the old holes. So maybe, and you can see that it's just slightly off. But once I get the screw in there and it, and it pulls it back into the original location, maybe the door won't have the little, the slight little catch that it's got now. All right, I'm gonna caulk it and go with it. All right, got the caulking all around the door frame. And let me tell you, I hate messing with caulking guns. That is like my least favorite thing to do on projects. But uh, I got it all caulked up, got the door laid out, fixing to hinge her on up into there and start screwing the screws. And Mr. Wiggy, in case y'all are wondering, he's just hanging out. Look at his little tail going. Socks, what are you doing? All right, there she blows. It does look a little bit weird with the, the window down lower, but yeah, I think I'm just going to get a little window offline off eBay or something, like search up RV window or something and type in whatever the measurement is I need there and put a little square window there, call it done. But anyway, it opens a little better. There's a little bit of drag on the bottom, but uh, I'm sure I can tweak it. Maybe, uh, I don't know if these hinges can be loosened up. Let's see, yeah, there's little screws. I don't know if I can loosen those up and uh, get the door to stop scrubbing on the bottom or and spray some WD-40 in the bottom or maybe give it a little bit of, 
little bit of body work with a little hammer down there maybe might make the door stop scrubbing but other than that it's all right i think it's rubbing right here seems like it's rubbing right in here no biggie though all right well i'm gonna go ahead and put this uh window frame in caulk around it and stick that window frame in here we go all right there's the caulking let's get this window frame in there we have it window put back in and can open the door have it hinge to the port side and i'll be able to have this driver's window open I gotta transfer this chain to this other side. I don't even think we need that chain. But, uh, then, uh, I can make it where I got this anchor in the way right now. But I make it where we can hinge this door all the way around and have like a little latch or something. Have a little hook or eyelet mounted on the wall and a, a little hook on this door or something. And, uh, it'll lock the door open. There we go though. I've been wanting to do that for a while. Need to take that little wind that uh antenna out. I'm gonna get rid of this antenna and plug the hole, caulk it or something. <clears throat> that's it though. Alright, I think that's about all I'm doing for today. I got a couple hours left before we gotta get all dressed up and leave the house for yet another social gathering. So uh yeah, I think I'm just going to get a window for here. And that'll maybe put it back like it's supposed to look. Anyway, give some thumbs down. Give some thumbs up. Whatever. Appreciate y'all watching. And y'all have a safe weekend. Later.